Here is a man that has not only changed his faith, but has also, also immigrated to a new country, leaving behind his network of friends and family. Welcome to my testimony, which is a program about people who have encountered amazing experiences with God. Everyone has a story to tell that will influence and grow your faith. I'm Jan Miller, and today we're going to talk with Raj. Can you tell me the story of your childhood and how and when you gave your life to Jesus? Okay, so growing up in Sri Lanka uh, as, a, as a young boy, uh, born to a family where my dad was a Buddhist and my mom was a nominal Christian, I didn't know Jesus growing up. And um, I was brought up in the Buddhist faith because my father's insistence that that was how it was going to be. So my mom conceded to that. And I was brought up in that faith. And because of my grandmom's influence on my life, uh, the Buddhist faith was all I knew. So I participated in several activities in the temple and I basically practiced uh, whatever she wanted me to do. Um, and that was my lifestyle back then. And because our family, uh, my father's side of my family was staunch Buddhist, uh, there was a very strong influence over my life uh, with that faith. Um, and growing up, I realized that uh, I had to meet a lot of uh, rules and regulations in order to maintain my faith. Uh, and although I, had to, I, I followed those rules and regulations, I realized that my lifestyle didn't change. Who I was, my rotten ways didn't change. And it was all the same uh, kind of bad things I went back to uh, despite following these rules. Because as a Buddhist, you, you believe that in order to have a better next life, you have to do good in this life. And you have to kind of collect points uh, along the way so that you ensure that you are born as a human being as opposed to being born as an animal or a lesser human being uh, in, a, in a less privileged life if you don't do enough good. So you have to continuously do good and you have to kind of figure your faith out yourself. So it is all about what you do that gets you to the next level, if you like, of your faith in that religion. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me how and when you gave your life to Jesus? Yes, so at the end of my schooling career, when I'd come to the end of my high school career, uh, one particular day my mom invited me or asked me to come to church with her just to give her a ride to church. And uh, she said, uh, you know, now that you're here, why don't you stay for this meeting, which is some special meeting, which I didn't know at the time, but it was an outreach crusade in her church. And um, reluctantly, I, I went in and stayed for that, and then um, I realized that, wow, this was very different to anything I had encountered before. Mm. And what, uh, what was unknown to me was that that was the power of the Holy Spirit in that place, whereas I had been to churches before and I had never experienced anything like that. And at the end of that meeting, I found myself uh, responding to what the preacher was saying. And he said, if you want to give your life to Jesus, come to the front, and without even thinking or batting an eyelid, I found myself going to the front uh, of the altar and, and you know, praying a prayer which I didn't quite understand at the time, but I knew I had to do it. And that's what I did. And that, that was the first time I gave my life to the Lord. Why did you choose a Christian faith over a Buddhist faith? Well, as I said, you know, when I compared my previous mm. life, I had to meet all these kind of, I had to stick to these rules and regulations, which still didn't change me as a person. Mm -hmm. I was the same rotten person I was, uh, except I did those things to try and appease, you know, a religion. And when I came to the Christian faith, I found myself being changed every single day. And that change, I couldn't understand what that was, but that was the Holy Spirit changing me from the inside. Sure. Um, so that was the main difference, I'd say. So that was a powerful encounter that you had with the Holy Spirit. Uh, and which prompted you to commit your life to Jesus. And a few weeks later, you went to a youth camp and you, your commitment was cemented. Can you describe the amazing touch that you experienced of the Holy Spirit? Yes, that was a very interesting youth camp because my cousin and I, we both went on the same youth camp. He too had made a commitment at that same 
uh, church uh, crusade a few weeks before and we both went on this, new uh, on this youth camp as newbies. We didn't know what it was. We didn't know what to expect because our cousins, our other cousins who were already Christians had invited us to go. So we went on this camp and on that camp I really had a, you know, a further encounter with, with God and the Holy Spirit and through all the teaching and the preaching and, and, and the prayers that were prayed over me, I realized that this was real, this was authentic and that God actually wanted my life um, to do something with it and that it, who I was mattered to him, you know, I was, I was not just another person and that was really what set me on this journey. How did your conversion to Christianity impact on your father? Yes, so my father being a very staunch Buddhist and a, also a very stubborn kind of a person did not accept that I had, you know, changed my religion uh, and taken up this new, you know, new faith. Uh, and he obviously was um, very upset by it and, and he didn't like that I was going to church all the time and I wanted to go for youth meeting and for services and so on. Um, and, and he thought it would be a phase that I would get over and you know I'll, I'll soon you know get tired of it but obviously it didn't and and uh, I continued in my faith but it was v a very difficult time quite a volatile time in our home because we had clashes quite a quite often uh, with regards to the faith. You said you've said you've had challenges with your father how did this affect you and how did you deal with that how did you manage it? Yeah uh, well I mean I, I did the best I could at the time mm. you know I probably didn't if I knew what I knew now I mm. handled a lot of those situations differently but obviously you know I was young mm. younger uh, and I was new in the faith so I probably handled a lot of things the wrong way uh, but you know God you know corrected me as we went along uh, the biggest challenge was when I decided not to go for uh, my first 15 rugby practice. At the time I was playing for my school, for my high school, and uh, as a result of which I got dropped from the team. But on that particular camp that I decided to go for and not go for practice, I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and that was a revelation and a changing, complete turnaround of my life. With the, the baptism that you experienced, what did God reveal to you? Well, I guess he just revealed to me that he had a plan for my life, yeah. that I mattered, and that he wanted to do something unique through me. Mm -hmm. uh, none of that made sense at the time, uh, but obviously I've seen how God has brought me through this journey uh, to where I am today. Yes. You've described the faith, faithfulness of Jesus through so many circumstances in your life. Is there any memorable example of the Lord's faithfulness? Yeah, the, like I guess um, if we fast forward, you know, my life to eight years, eight and a half years ago, almost nine years ago, uh, when we decided to emigrate to New Zealand, uh, we, we had applied, uh, uh, we had put our papers in for our visas. My wife was coming as a student. Um, but after a long process, uh, several months of waiting and anticipation of coming, our visas got rejected. And that was a huge big blow because I had already quit my job uh, about six months before that, because in anticipation of our coming over. And then we had to go through a whole other process to uh, reapply and complain that we had been unfairly treated. And that process took another several months. And finally, in July of 2011, we got our visas approved. And that was a real waiting period for us. And that waiting period was not easy because nothing seemed to be happening. Mm. But God was working in the background mm. and putting faith in us to trust him mm. uh, because we were kind of didn't know what, what to do. Because mm. I was without a job. We were ready to come but yeah. we were still stuck kind of there. Yes, so that was a very testing time. Yes, that's, that is difficult being without work for so long. That's right. And during that time? During that time, the only thing I, I could do was pray. Yes. Uh, pray, ask the Lord, cry out to him and mm. say, Lord, Lord, you know, you need to come through for us mm. because we have no fallback here. Uh, I, I also tried to, you know, find another job while I waited, but nothing came through. Absolutely nothing came through. How have you changed over the last five years, Raj? Um, I guess the main thing is we have really needed to depend on the Lord because when, we, when you come to a new country, you don't know anybody. 
you have no family, you have no friends, you have no support network that you have back in your home country, you have parents, family, friends, church family, all of that. So we had really to dig deep, my wife and I, uh, because we had two young children when we, you know, at the time, and we had to really dig deep and draw on his word mm. and really stand upon the promises of his word uh, and know that he who called is faithful to the very end. Mm. How do you see yourself now today? Well, when we look at ourselves today, our lives today, we can only say that we are really blessed mm. and we can't in fact imagine the amount of blessings that we have received from God because every single door that he has opened for us, be it finding our jobs, schools for our kids, um, uh, even the home we live in has been provisioned from him mm. and without him we would have had nothing mm. uh, and because we have seen how other migrants like us have struggled uh, and we see that we have received all these things because he has been faithful to us. Praise the Lord. God is good. What has been the pivotal moment in your Christian walk? I would say the main, if you look at, if, we, if I was to look at one particular incident or one particular moment, that would be the day I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And that kind of really revolutionized or changed my Christian walk. Um, and my faith uh, steps were far greater than what I had experienced in the past. Obviously, with the power of the Holy Spirit, your life changes completely. Uh, so that was the pivotal moment, I'd say. Mm. It is a total transformation, isn't it? Yeah, that absolutely. You experience? Yeah. What have you not talked about that you'd like to, sh to mention now? Right. I mean, um, I'd say, uh, firstly, you know, how we've been blessed with wonderful jobs in this country. You know, as migrants, it's quite hard to find jobs when you come in. Uh, you've got to start kind of at the bottom of the ladder and work yourself up. Mm. Um, both my wife and I are in, in very good jobs. Our kids are in, 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 a, in, in private Christian schools. Uh, we have a home to live in. So uh, those, all those put together, we can say we are truly blessed. That's wonderful. And you, you're in a, a church uh, here and you've been here for how long? You're part of the church family yeah. here? Um, we've been in Living Well Church for now eight and a half years. So this was kind of uh, the second church we walked into and we knew that this was our home church mm. when we stepped in through the doors and we've been serving in this church uh, ever since. Our kids are involved in kids church and youth ministry. Um, my wife and I serve in you know, different capacities here and yeah we love this church because it is our family now. That's wonderful and so good that you can serve the Lord and, and help other people and it's just been a blessing to talk to you today, Raj, and uh, I wish you uh, many blessings in the future. Thank, Thank you so you. much for the opportunity. <laughs>